All right, my construction entrepreneurs, here's another contract estate license board examination study guide. And this one was by request. Um, looks like our buddy, looks like who requested it here? Mayhem 11X said uh, to do a, a C39, please. So we did a rush order on that and have that coming up right now. So uh, once again, this is a trade exam. It, it tells you what to expect in the examination of this particular trade. So listen carefully. And if you have any questions, um, you want to dig, dig, you know, dive deeper into some of the uh, topics here or some of the sections here that's covered in the examination, make sure you reach out to us either in the comments or give us a call or send us, send us an email, okay? Um, let's get started here, okay? All right, so the roofing C39 examination is divided into five major sections. First section is planning and estimation at 21%. That's gonna cover two sections, planning roof projects, estimating roof projects, okay? Next one is job site preparation for roof projects at 10% of the examination. And that's gonna cover three sections, protecting surroundings, correcting problems, and tearing off existing roofing. Next section, section three, low slope roof projects at 20%. And that's gonna cover three sections as well. Those three sections are one, installation, installing flashing, ventilation, and underlayment. Two, installing various low slope roof systems. And three, repairing low slope roof systems. Next one, number four, coming in at 28%, steep slope roof projects. And that's gonna cover installing flashing, ventilation and underlayment, installing various steep slope roof systems, and repairing steep slope roof systems. They went from low to steep, so that was pretty good. The last section here is safety at 21% of the examination, okay? It's covering personnel safety and job site safety. Now, mind you, a lot of these percentages are approximate, so you may get a different test, okay? Remember, there's seven to nine tests out there, so your percentages may slightly be different, but those sections will be there, okay? Next, test site policy. They're very serious about this, okay? This is a closed book examination. No reference materials may be used during the examination, and all materials brought to the examination site must be left in an unmonitored area at your own risk. So, you guys know, leave your cell phones in the car. You got other devices, leave them in the car, okay? Uh, test strategy. This is a multiple choice examination with four choices per question. Examination questions are written to provide only one best answer. Some questions require mathematical uh, calculations. A calculator will be provided. Uh, there's no penalty for guessing. If you are unsure by a particular question, it is better to try to answer the question than to leave the question blank. Plenty of time is provided to answer all examination questions. Be sure to read each question and its four choices completely and carefully before selecting the best possible answer to the question. Remember, you will be allowed to select questions that you can set to the side and review later. Do not spend a lot of time on any given question. If you don't know the answer, quickly set it off to the side, select that option, and come back to it at the end. Okay, because you don't want to find yourself dwelling on, 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 on uh, a handful of questions and then you look up and you're almost out of time and then you got to run through uh, all these other questions and uh, you can most likely fail that way by rushing through a lot of that. Okay, you definitely want to be, you want to be able to take your time. All right, so let's go over some sample questions that you may find on the examination. Okay, once again, if you want to try to answer these questions, then go ahead and either pause it now and read the question yourself or wait until after I read the question or wait until after I read the question and, and, and the, uh, the four choices, pause it, 
and then come back to see if you got the right answer. All right, got that out the way. Let's roll through this. Um, if a frat, if a flat rectangular roof measures 16 feet by 31 inches, how many squares of roof covering are required? A, 15, B, 5, C, 25, or D, 50? Answer is B, 5. Next sample question that you'll find on the examination, you may or may not. How should rigid insulation and shingles be installed on a pitch roof? A, nail the shingles with straw nails. B, install insulation using two-part adhesive. C, install sheeting between two layers. Or D, install two layers of heavy underlayment. Answer is C, install sheeting between two layers. Next sample question. Which of the following needs to be removed when installing spray foam SPF roofing over a built up roof with aggregate? A, only the air conditioning units. B, only walk, pad, walk pads. C, the entire roof system. Or D, only gravel slash rock. Answer is D, only gravel slash rock. All right, so once again, this is the resource page here. You wanna take this information here, go online. I will be posting, I now will be posting uh, this information below, okay? So you can find it below. Hopefully that will uh, uh, help you to be able to shift through a lot of this information a lot quicker uh, instead of just trying to review it on the screen and type it into your phone or uh, create a split screen or whatever you have to do to try to get that information. I'm trying to provide it to you a little bit, a little bit more easier, a little bit more simpler, and hopefully you can enjoy that. Okay, um, getting and resourcing a lot of this material here. Once I say getting, because you want to purchase some of these materials here, uh, but getting and resourcing a lot of this materials just prepares you a little bit better for the examination. Okay, you always like to be over prepared because. This is an important test, okay? Remember, once you sign up and you actually get a test date, you have 18 months from that date to pass that test. So that means that you can fail, take it again. Fail, take it again for 18 months before your test is pushed out the way and then you're, you're placed on a, a, a waiting list uh, until you can take that test again, okay? So you definitely only want to check some of this stuff out. Oh, there it is. Subscribe now, okay? Subscribe to the channel. We got more and more exciting things coming. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, make sure you like this video. If you like, if, if, if it brought some value to you, if not, hit the thumbs down, smash that button too, okay? We run either way here, but subscribe, like, and make sure you share. Okay, there's a lot of construction entrepreneurs out there that can uh, 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 really use a lot of this information, share it with them, get them tuned in, and remember my construction entrepreneurs, hustle hard, then hustle harder, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Thanks.